when I was putting together survivor stories for the luncheon, mm -hmm. I learned a lot about different ovarian cancers and different women's stories. And there were a few women who said that they had had a hysterectomy and then were diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And one of, in fact, one of our board members, she had had just her ovaries removed, but not her fallopian tubes. Mm -hmm. And was later diagnosed with ovarian cancer after that. Like if you've had a hysterectomy, can you still be at risk for ovarian cancer? The, the, the short answer is yes. And, and, um, but I'm gonna extend that answer a little bit because uh, it takes some clarification. And, and first of all, women, I think, sometimes are told they've had hysterectomies and assume that they've had their ovaries removed um, or their oh. ovaries and their fallopian tubes. And really where in crazy. fact, they haven't. Um, and and the, you know, just because they say on the operative report that you had a total hysterectomy doesn't necessarily mean that the ovaries were removed. Um, it means that the cervix is removed with the main body of the uterus, but not necessarily the ovaries of the tubes. Oh. But having said that, uh, even if you've had your ovaries removed, and, you, and, and, and there'd be rare cases where your ovaries would be removed and you leave your fallopian tubes. That's very uncommon, I would say. Um, there is um, a belief now that a lot of ovarian cancer, or most of ovarian cancer, may in fact originate in the fallopian tube rather than in the ovary itself uh, in right terms of the epithelial cancers that we, that we treat. And it used to be thought that they were different diseases, but ultimately we decided that they probably are the same disease and they act the same way, they're treated the same way, and have pretty much the similar outcomes. But assuming then that you have your ovaries and your fallopian tubes removed, um, the uterus could be there, but you can still get what we would call ovarian cancer, but it's really ovarian cancer that's starting on the peritoneal surfaces, and that's the inside lining of the abdomen. So peritoneal cancer is a real thing. Um, it does occur, and it looks and acts just like ovarian cancer, um, and it can occur in women that have already had their ovaries or tubes removed. Wow. Um, and we know that because when we started to look at genetic predisposition for ovarian cancer, um, we realized that women that had their ovaries and tubes removed because they were had a strong family history, um, that about 2 or 3% of those women could potentially develop peritoneal cancer, um, even though their ovaries were removed. So that is a real thing, but it is, again, uncommon. 